The word that came to Yeremia from the Lord after that Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, had let him go from Ramah, when he had taken him before, when he had taken him being bound in chains among all that were carried away captive of Jerusalem and Udab, which were carried away captive unto Babylon. And the captain of the guard took Yeremia and said unto him, The Lord thy God hath pronounced this evil upon this place. Now the Lord hath brought it, and done according as he hath said, because ye have sinned against the Lord, and have not obeyed his voice. Therefore this thing is come upon you. And now, behold, I loose thee this day from the chains which were upon thine hand. If it seem good unto thee to come with me to Babylon, come. And I will look well unto thee, but if it seem ill unto thee to come with me to Babylon, forbear. Behold, all the land is before thee, whether it seemeth good and convenient for thee to go, thither go. Now while he was not yet gone back, he said, Go back also to Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, whom the king of Babylon hath made governor over the cities of Judah, and dwell with him among the people, or go wheresoever it seemeth convenient unto thee to go. So the captain of the guard gave him victuals and a reward, and let him go. Then went Yeremiah unto Gedaliah the son of Ahikam to Mizpah, and dwelt with him among the people that were left in the land. Now when all the captains of the forces which were in the field, even they and their men, heard that the king of Babylon had made Gedaliah the son of Ahikam governor in the land, and had committed unto him men, and women, and children, and of the poor of the land, of them that were not carried away captive to Babylon. Then they came to Gedaliah to Mizpah, even Ishmael the son of Nathanael, Nathanael, and Yohanan, and Yonatan the sons of Kariah, and Seraiah the son of Tahumeth, Tanhumeth, and the sons of Elphaid, the Nathaphothite, and Jeznaiah, the son of Maa, the son of a Maakathite, they and their men. And Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, swear unto them and to their men, saying, Fear not to serve the Chaldeans, dwell in the land, and serve the king of Babylon, and it shall be well with you. As for me, behold, I will dwell at Mizpah to serve the Chaldeans which will come unto us. But ye, gather ye wine and summer fruits and oil, and put them in your vessels, and dwell in your cities that ye have taken. Likewise, when all the Jews that were in Moab, and among the Ammonites, and in Edom, and that were in all the countries, heard that the king of Babylon had left a remnant of Judah, and that he had set over them Gedaliah the son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, even all the Jews returned out of all places whither they were driven, and came to the land of Yudab, to Gedaliah, unto Mizpah, and gathered wine and summer fruits very much. Moreover, Yohanan, the son of Kariah, and all the captains of the forces that were in the fields came to Gedaliah, to Mizpah, and said unto him, Dost thou certainly know that Baalis, the king of the Ammonites, hath sent Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, to slay thee? But Gedaliah, the son of Ahikam, believed them not. Then Johanan, the son of Kariah, spake to Gedaliah in Mizpah secretly, saying, Let me go, I pray thee, and I will slay Ishmael, the son of Nathaniah, and no man shall know it. Wherefore should he slay thee, that all the Jews which are gathered unto thee should be scattered, and the remnant of Judah perish? But Gedaliah the son of Ahikam said unto Johanan the son of Kariah, Thou shalt not do this thing, for thou speakest falsely of Ishmael.